Hey everyone, welcome back to automation. So we're not actually going to spend that much time in automation today because I've been thinking about doing another Autoflex games. And in order to do that, I need to come up with events that are actually interesting. And I was thinking of one uh, kind of in the same vein as the game Radical Relocation. I've played it on this channel before. Uh, there's another game sort of similar to that coming out, which I'll probably stream. But the basic gist of these two games is that you're supposed to stack stuff on top of your car and you navigate a series of obstacles, or in the case of Radical Relocation, it's usually a, a subdivision of some kind that you're driving through with some weird like thematic obstacles obstacles to dodge so that you don't lose the stuff that's on top of your car. I thought that would be a really fun idea for a challenge to try and take some of my cars, stack stuff on them, and see how well they do around a predetermined course. Uh, but I kind of thought about another thing. Some fixtures will contact with things in BeamNG, physics objects in particular, and some will not. So here is a car that I made a long time ago on the channel. It's the Trig Trig X. Uh, yeah, I kind of went back into the archives a little bit for this one. Now I'm going to fix some of the small issues on the car like I just did with the wing clipping and such. You probably notice it's kind of an RX-7-ish and it's supposed to have a rotary in it. Don't worry about that, that's not really the point. It's probably really terrible. But it has a wing, and the thing about the wings is that they do actually contact physics objects, whereas a lot of uh, different fixtures do not. So. Yeah, the wings are incredibly important to our strategy here. So this car is already in BeamNG, and there is also a V8 version of it in BeamNG that we're going to test out for this, uh, just stacking stuff on the roof. It's kind of a sloped roof, which isn't going to make this any easier, but I'm hoping we can kind of fit stuff in the back and, and drive a little bit. I mean, trucks have a significant advantage, obviously. But I was thinking, why don't we make a little basket out of wings on the back of the car, maybe fix some of its smaller issues, and then try it out again and see if I can hold more. So yeah, see what it looks like now because it's going to change. <laughs> it's time that I made this car way, way worse. Oh yes. So if it wasn't obvious already, this car was made way before uh, 3D fixture placement. <laughs> so what I'm thinking I'm going to do is make myself a little catch piece on the back here, and then kind of up the sides and on the back, and we'll kind of leave the front open maybe to keep it a little bit thematic. But I'm just going to be using wing components to do that. I guess it's mildly cheating if I use one of these because it's huge and I could literally just make a basket. Uh, but I, I mean... <laughs> It works, so I'm gonna do it. Don't worry, I'm not gonna make a habit out of butchering all my old cars. <laughs> uh, you know what, maybe I will if people are interested. Okay, so the car now officially has a basket on the back of it. Uh, this is probably not what you were expecting to see today. <laughs> it's pretty funny though. I think I need to fill in the hole in the bottom and then, I mean, that's probably it. Alright, so that's going to be our uh, carrier on the back. The front end will just have to stay as is. Nothing's really going to be able to be carried here. I was thinking though that a tow hook might be a good idea, so let me slap one on. Because with a tow hook we can theoretically tow, and uh, towing stuff means that we can get more stuff on the car if we can use trailers, which is definitely a possibility for my uh, little challenge ideas. You never know. So in terms of problems with this car, I mean, it's got a huge problem on the back of it now. Uh, <laughs> and this is the real version of it as well. Um, although I do have a backup, so don't worry. I think the only thing I'm going to do is change the color to something else. It's currently kind of a maroon. It was previously this, which is a really nice color. But uh, yeah, I just want to change it up for the sake of making things a little bit different. This is probably going to screw up the graphs, but I'm going to immediately go up in a rim size. <laughs> That's fine. I just uh, I like the way that looks. Oh, downforce at top speed is bottoming out. So we actually need to make some modifications in order for this car to work properly in this sort of setting. Um, what I'm thinking, actually, hold on, we can get a touch of offset. But what I'm thinking is we need to go for sl softer suspension so that the car actually like sticks. So having a super low ride height is probably not the best idea. You don't want it too high, but you don't want it too low. So I'm just going to raise that up just a little bit. Uh, on the graphs, we're 95.6% sporty. Um, comfort is probably what I'm after. So I'm going to go ahead and jump up to that. And wow, this thing is going to be broken. <laughs> that's really not great. Comfort is going to make the suspension extremely wobbly. So maybe that's not quite right, but maybe... 
A utility preset? Uh, I'll try to work it from here. Wow, we have a ton of rear downforce because of all of those wing pieces, even though they don't actually do anything. Uh, I'm actually just gonna turn that down. Yeah, it's not actually doing anything. Okay, well, <laughs> yeah, we'll just leave it as is then. It's always bothered me that this exhaust sticks out this much, so I'm just gonna kind of bring it in a little bit. Uh, yeah, thank you for 3D Fixtures for giving us the ability to do that. But I think that's good. Let's take this thing into BeamNG and uh, see if it doesn't just hold the ball properly. Because yes, the idea of this is that it holds the ball. Alright, so here's what this car looks like in BeamNG. And obviously we're going to be on the grid map. Uh, at least the, the older version of the grid map. I hear there's a new one coming soon. Uh, but the gist of this test, <laughs> test in quotes, is that I'm going to try to hold the ball to start off with and then we'll put some other stuff in there and give it a try. Going over some of these bumps and different things that are around here, uh, in increasing in difficulty, uh, theoretically, until the ball falls out, and then we can try it with a different car, or try it with a trailer, I don't know. Th today is basically just about testing for a potential event, because I just think this is a very fun idea, and <laughs> I'm hopeful that you do too. And yeah, obviously, if you have any more ideas for events, let me know. Stuff like this is kind of what I'm after. I want to do non-traditional, more game-style things. Making weird stuff is definitely uh, one of my pastimes here in automation. And then transporting it to BeamNG, where we get to mess with it and also break the sound barrier. <laughs> okay, let's put the ball in the back. So for those of you unaware, BeamNG has props, and uh, yeah, they look like this. There are quite a few different physics objects that you can use, you can get more with mods, uh, but I've, for this testing purpose, I'm going to be using this ball, which can actually be deflated. Uh, it is a soccer ball, I guess. Um, <laughs> but yeah, basically all we have to do, just go to FreeCam, the easiest way to put something in something else, and then just pick it up with control using the nodes. And then we can hopefully line her up and get it in there. Now this ball is always bigger than I think it is, so I'm really hopeful. Oh no. <laughs> the box is too small. Oh, that is... That is really, really close. <laughs> this is going to be more difficult than I thought. So the car kind of looks like a shoe. Uh, that's not really what I anticipated, but... Um, I mean, it's kind of cool. <laughs> I guess I could put a big Nike swoosh on the side of it or something. Uh, but anyway, let's see. It, this is actually going to be a bit more difficult than I thought. I was hoping the ball would sit in there, but obviously I didn't make this big enough. Uh, that's definitely my fault. It's kind of clipping through the wings a little bit, but it is resting on them, which is good. Uh, now, obviously, this ball is full of air, so it is bouncy. Oh, <laughs> it's really bouncy. Yeah, I'm going to have to do better than this or just pick a different thing to hold uh, if I'm gonna make this right. Okay, I can get up a little bit of speed on these bumps now that it's kind of settled itself in there. I guess it would be possible for it to get clipped in there and then also get stuck, but if I do a big... oh, okay, it actually stayed. Alright, one more time. I'm gonna try and do it at around 40 kilometers an hour or so. Okay, that's rough. <laughs> hey, it's actually kind of stuck in there. That's good. Okay, it settled itself. Which means we can try some more difficult obstacles. Uh, <laughs> what should I try? There are so many options. Okay, first thing I want to do is just give it a spin. Uh, this is going to break the sound in this game because this car has 12,000 RPMs of goodness. Uh, if I hold it at the rev line, then the game doesn't like it very much. Um, but anyway, that didn't throw it out, so let's try these, only slowly. Okay, it's moving back and forth quite significantly, but it does actually appear to be pretty stuck in there. I'm not sure... Huh, you know what? I'm actually just gonna try and get it out. Let's just... <laughs> let's just get it out. Say goodbye to the ball. Oh, okay, thank goodness it actually worked. But it appears to have wedged itself into those pieces because they're kind of dragging along with it. So I guess that's something to consider for the challenge because that can make it a lot easier. I'm interested to see what it takes to make this ball not necessarily pop, but stick in something. Uh, because it didn't seem to take very much to get stuck in the wings on the back of this car. Um, so I might not be able to use the ball, I might have to pick something different. Which is fine, because we do have quite a few other options, and I think we may as well break into some of those now. Like what about if I put a bale of hay in the back of the car? of which I was going to attempt to put three, but I'm now seeing that this is probably just gonna shatter it. 
Uh, is this actually going to stay? That's the real question. Um, you know, this is probably one of my favorite parts of the game. Seeing the suspension crunch when you put something heavy in the back of it. I don't know why, but that's just very satisfying to me. Maybe I'm just a little bit weird, perhaps? Okay, so the Bale of Hay also considers the uh, wings to be a physics object. However, <laughs> it kind of clips through them under its massive weight, and you can probably tell, um, but the car is a little bit worse for wear. There's, there's a touch of weight on the back, and uh, yeah, we're pulling off a bit of a move here, and <laughs> permanently doing a wheelie. So I took a few attempts here to try and level out this hay so that it was actually like balanced in the car, and uh, that didn't work. <laughs> and it just instantly falls out, which is, needless to say, unideal. Uh, it's a little bit too heavy for the back, uh, which is unfortunate because it really makes the car suffer. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Anyway, I'm thinking um, we'll probably just smash into it uh, just to see what happens. I don't know. We got to do something with it. Ooh, <laughs> unless I break the car first. A durability challenge is definitely high on my uh, priority list, especially smashing into slightly movable objects like this that aren't cars. It really makes it fun. So I've come up with a considerable challenge for myself, including that piano and this very heavily loaded trailer. In fact, it is the max load. Uh, that this thing allows. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna quickly hook this up. This is probably not gonna go that great, but uh, that's not really the point. <laughs> as long as it kind of works, that's all I care about. My goodness, that's, um, that's not gonna go well instantly. That's a lot of wood. Okay, so I instantly shattered the piano on my way up here, and uh, wow. Okay, apparently it's um, not particularly durable. I thought that putting it in the back of the car was gonna be easy. <laughs> um, apparently not. Okay, that's fine. We'll leave the piano behind for now. Um, I know that this whole idea is about stacking, but trailer towing of very heavy weights is definitely on my mind, uh, just because I find that to be a lot of fun, especially with cars that were absolutely not made for it. And in this case, this car is a 1.3 liter engine with not 300 horsepower, not 900, but 300. Um, you know what, it's actually towing it not that badly. I don't think I'm gonna be able to stop. That wasn't too bad either. Huh, we might have actually made a towing rig here. I mean, who would have thought you could tow this much weight with an RX-7? Uh, <laughs> somehow, somewhere, somebody's tried it, I'm sure. Oh wow, it is uncontrollable with this much weight. <laughs> I think it would be a lot of fun to attempt to do an obstacle course with a very heavy trailer like this. Uh, this does come preloaded, by the way, um, so it's nice and easy to spawn in, <laughs> although the timing would be a bit of an issue. This to me is the best part of BeamNG physics. Not so much the, uh, the crashing into stuff all the time, but towing trailers and crashing into stuff, I don't know, just uh, it hits me in all the right ways. Well, that came to an abrupt end when the trailer flipped over and my uh, sanity was entirely lost. Um, I think it was a worthy exercise though to, to be able to try and tow something of this weight with this uh, trailer. <laughs> I think though that maybe we uh, we should try and put some more stuff in the back of this car. I kind of want to stack it up radical relocation style, just put as much stuff as I can in the back and kind of see what it ends up doing and also looking like, um, although I'm not anticipating it to be very good. <laughs> That's kind of the fun part. All right, piano is going in this time. At least it better go in. I hope it goes in. Ooh, never mind, it didn't go in. Goodness, the piano does not want to stay. <laughs> I guess I should have anticipated that. Okay, so I know it's not Christmas, but uh, yeah, we have a Christmas tree in the back now. Um, it actually fits in there really nicely. <laughs> I'm, I'm very happy with that. I want to take it off a sick jump though, so let's go. I mean, I can't really see what's going on anymore, so I'm gonna have to go way out. Um, but the tree is actually pretty firmly stuck in there. As I say that, it starts to shift on its way out. <laughs> Stay in there, tree. Come on. Don't do it. <laughs> Basically, I've given myself a pickup truck bed in the, the worst possible way. And, oh wow. Okay, goodness. This is, um, this is harder than radical relocation. It's way more finicky. <laughs> Okay, so the tree cannot take any hard acceleration at all, probably because it's so tall it catches the wind. Uh, that's how I'm going to choose to see that one. Um, I'm just going to go really slowly 
Ah, no, it, it doesn't want to stay. I mean, does anything want to stay when you're doing 80 kilometers an hour and not tied down? <laughs> oh well, tree, you know what? You're gonna meet your demise now. This is the end for you, my friend. Boom. Say goodbye. And that didn't seem to phase it, so I'm gonna do it again. And, uh, again, I guess. This tree is unbreakable. Okay, I've had my fun with that tree. Um, that was lame. <laughs> I need to try something else. Oh, it's taunting me, though. It's taunting me. Get over here, tree. One last chance. This is your last time. Boom! I was kind of hoping it would flip into the back, to be honest, but apparently today's not my day. You know what's never gonna let me down? Traffic barrels. I think these are probably the ultimate choice. They're not very heavy, but uh, we should be able to fit a lot of them in the back. Although they are quite big. Seemingly massive compared to the car. I do not know why that is. Okay, I've just realized that these actually don't consider wings to be physics objects. For some reason, they just fly right through them, no problem. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure why. Um, it, it seems to happen sometimes, but then not on other times. And then they also kind of get stuck as well, as you can see, and then fall out. So, yeah, it seems like a truck is going to be the ultimate solution here. <laughs> any sort of truck vehicle is going to win any like carrying challenge without a doubt. So with that in mind, I give you our first challenge. This is the uh, same one that I did before, except this time with a long bed truck. Uh, one of the ones I made a long time ago. And the ball does not want to stay. Okay, that does not bode well. Uh, apparently the bed is not anywhere near deep enough. Okay, I got it in there, uh, but how long it's gonna stay there? I'm not really sure. <laughs> Probably not too long. Let me just see, just nice and slowly now. Incredibly slowly, in fact. Oh, come on. This is gonna be a very slow challenge in the future, my goodness. 15 kilometers an hour and it's kind of falling. Maybe if I can get it stuck in there, we'll be fine, but if I just kind of give it, then yeah, it's gone. Well, this truck is dead silent. I don't know why that is, but uh, yeah, that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought of this kind of weird idea in the comments. I, uh, I like having weird ideas. And I'm also doing another one of them right now because, I mean, the game is a soccer ball, so obviously I'm going to play with it. <laughs> uh, maybe I can try and time myself getting this in the net or something with vehicles. I'm trying to think of some challenges, trying to be creative about it, and I'm hopeful that you're down with that. Ooh, that was a bit of a crash. Um... <laughs> But anyway, if you enjoyed this content and you want to see more and more of my other stuff as well, then please subscribe. Uh, <laughs> there, uh, there have been quite a few people joining lately thanks to that Karen video, so if you're new to the channel you might want to keep checking out others. I've got some playlists and uh, yeah, lots and lots of videos to watch. I'm kind of, kind of curious here before this video ends if I can burst this. Oh, okay, maybe I'll just burst the entire back of the truck. Ooh, so it actually bounces. That's really cool. Okay, hold on a minute. I'm totally destroying this, but I'm really enjoying it while I do it. But the ball actually has some kind of springiness to it. <laughs> Not just damaging the truck, but I can also bounce off it kind of like a spring. Hmm. <laughs> I've got some ideas. But yeah, like this video if you liked it, and I'll see you again next time. Where I probably won't be doing this, but hopefully something a little bit more interesting. <laughs> I've got some more cars to make before I do any more challenges, and uh, yeah, I've got some more time left before that even happens. It's gonna be a while. Right now is around the time when I like to thank those who have chosen to support this channel via the join button. These are the channel members. I call them supporters. Um, we have Overlord, QT Bear, Terry Williams, Jean Val Palms, J. Pope, Davis, the German Dude, Jug, Mickey K1, Eli Mason. They are the advanced supporters and a bunch of supporters as well. But if you want to get your name in this list, you want to get your name read out, um, then please feel free to hit that join button, read the tiers, and yeah, support me in that way. But anyway, thanks guys. Appreciate your support. <laughs> All 20 of you, uh, you guys are awesome. More Project Car stuff coming up. I actually bought a new car to replace the G35, and so we're going to be tearing the G35 apart piece by piece and learning along the way, even if it doesn't make total sense. <laughs> Alright, see you then. Goodbye, ball. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I could do this all day.